I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll understand what is a probability experiment. Now the definition of probability de experiment is that it is a well-defined process with number of trials in which observable outcomes you can say outcomes or results can be recorded now that is the definition which you have come across so many times probability experiment is a well-defined process with number of trials in which observable outcomes or results can be recorded right now in this definition there are so many terms which we need to look into and understand one of the first words which comes to our mind is trials after all what do we understand by trials right so trials are repetition of experiment right when we say well defined that means it is a process which is well defined and it can be repeated over and over again so that's the reason of having well defined process in our definition of probability experiment so we say well the trials are the repetition of experiments that the experiment can be repeated over and over again right so that is repetition of an experiment so the same experiment can be repeated over and over the second term which we see is observable outcomes so the idea of having experiment is to record something right what do we get out of the experiment these are the outcomes right so these are the outcomes which are results of the experiment right so therefore we qualified it with the word results so outcomes are actually the results of the experiment so an experiment can have many results if we group all the results we call this as our sample space so there are a few more terms which we should understand uh, one is sample space sample space normally given in curly brackets that that gives you kind of like this that gives you set this is the way to record the set so set of all possible outcomes correct so whatever are the results they are measurable results all those results set of all those results become the sample space at times uh, and each one of them are called sample elements or sample points right so we also have a term called sample point that is each individual outcome right so sample space can have many elements so each individual element in the outcome right so results of an experiment will be all taken together as a sample space set of all possible outcomes as a sample space and every particular element is a sample point so each individual outcome or we can say element in the sample space so we say in the sample space normally is designated by capital s at times we do designate this by letter omega uh, also right so capital so that is how we could say these are sample points so once we have different points we can have number of these points so if we have countable well so the count of those elements is n of s s is how we normally designate sample spaces so n of s becomes number of elements in the sample space yes. 
Is it okay? So that is the total number of elements in the sample space. You'll also come across the word called events. The idea is, why did we perform this experiment? That's a big question, right? Why did we perform this experiment? Because we wanted to record some observable outcomes. That's the whole idea, right? So, group of these outcomes. is events so we are looking for something from the outcomes and that particular group in which we are interested in will be our event so we kind of define events so normally events are defined by capital letter could be a b sample a b c d x y something like that right so group of the outcomes in the event will be outcomes of our sample space will be the event now we are looking actually when we perform a probability experiment as possibility of that event to happen. So probability is possibility of that event to take place right, or happen. So that is what probability is. right? Now when we say event and when we say probability, then what we are looking for here is that if we perform an experiment, let us say, let's take up an example. Experiment for us is, let us say we throw a die. That is the experiment. Okay. So when you throw a die, then what can happen? you could get numbers 1 to 6, correct? So those numbers are the outcomes. In this case, what are the outcomes? Outcomes are the numbers 1 to 6, right? So outcomes are possible numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now whenever we are doing such an experiment, we are taking a die which is a fair die, we are saying all outcomes are equally likely, right? So in such an experiment, there are a couple of things which we qualify this experiment with. That is, we say it's a fair die. That is to say, equally likely outcomes. So these are the other things which go along with an experiment. So when you define an experiment, you define all these things, right? So it becomes a well-defined process. Right? And this process of throwing the die could be done 100 times, 200 times, maybe 20 times, 50 times. So that means those are the trials, number of times you perform this experiment. And whenever you throw a die, you could get a number between 1 to 6, including both of them. Right? So this becomes the total number of outcomes. We call them sample space. So that is a sample space. right? So if I count the number of elements in the sample space, what do I get? I get that as 6. So this number, a real number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all possible outcomes just in numbers will be 6, right? So that is the, the number of elements in our sample space. And here I've listed the sample space, all possible outcomes. Let me write S here. Is it okay? Now, whenever you perform an experiment, you can always define your event. As we said, event is group of outcomes. Right? So what are events could be? Well, let me define one event here. Let's say event A is, is the number, let's say greater than 4. So we are looking for a number greater than 4. That is the event. Now when you see this list in the sample space, numbers greater than 4 are 5 and 6. Is that okay? These are the two numbers which are greater than 4. So we say, well, the number of elements which support our event or make it successful will be these two numbers. So 5 and 6 or in numbers we say 2. So there are two numbers out of 6 which qualify or when we say our experiment will be successful if the number is greater than 4, right? So so n a is number of elements which 
out of all six elements are for our success right so these that is the event and now from here let's get back to probability which is possibility that the event to happen so you say possibility of a a is the event right to happen now what is the possibility that event can happen so this can happen if we get five or six these are two elements so the possibility is we get these two numbers out of all six so normally it is a ratio of favorable which is two in our case to total number of elements in the sample space so that becomes a theoretical probability okay so we started with a probability experiment landed up with probability right that's what it is the whole idea of doing this experiment was to find probability of an event which we define as number greater than four and we find there are two numbers so it is two over total number of elements in our sample space is six so we get two over six or one over three you get an idea right so that is how we find probability from an experiment right so it is also called probability experiment you get an idea well I could have defined another event and uh, the event could be let's say B where we say the number is less than equal to 4 that could be my event so it is up to you how you define your event in the sample space you can see these numbers are the numbers which are less than or equal to 4. So the probability of this event B will be 4 out of 6. Do you get the idea? Or 2 out of 3. You will also observe one very critical thing here. Some of these two takes care of all the elements in our sample space A and B. Now whenever that happens we come across another word which is complementary. So that event, which is complementary event, so it's a complement of an event. So in this case, B is B is complement of event. So we can say B is A bar, or we can write like this. We could also write this as A bar, kind of like this. That is to say complement, or we write, let us see here, complement of an event. So important thing which we learned here is, that whenever we have probability we could have probability of an event and as you can see here let me summarize two things which we gather from here one probability of any event will always have the values which are between 0 and 1 so probability of an event is between 0 so probability of any event will be between 0 and 1 reason is number of outcomes which we are looking for is the total space which is in the denominator as you can see here right so total number in this particular case is six let us say what is the probability of getting a number which is seven well you can't get it so it is zero over six which is zero and if i say what is the probability of getting number one two three four five or six right or less than equal to six then it is all six numbers so the probability will be the number of elements in our event over number of elements in the sample space and this can never be greater than one at the most it could be equal to one is it okay these two can be same so that is why we have this and second thing which you learned here is that sum of because a plus b or you can say sum of a and the complement of a will give us all so that is all the elements in the sample space and therefore the probability of a plus probability of the complement of A will always be equal to 1, right? So that is what we can infer. As you can see, we could have found this probability of B, let me write down here, probability of B as 1 minus probability of A, which was complementary of B, which is 1 minus 1 over 3, or that gives you 2 over 3, the same result, right? I hope that helps you to understand few concepts. So what we are trying to understand here is 
that a probability experiment is a very well defined process which can be repeated over and over again n number of times and each and every repetition is called a trial. With the trial there will be an outcome which is measurable and it can be recorded right and all these recorded outputs form a set and we call that as the sample space for us. Number of elements in this set is very important to calculate the probability and so we assign a number to total number of elements in our set. So we, it's a countable set right. So we say ns is the number of elements in our sample space. Now the idea of doing a probability experiment was to look into or interest was into look into an event and its outcome and to figure out what is the probability of that event to happen. Now that event's outcome is subset of these sample space elements. Since the probability is ratio of subset of the sample space with the sample space itself, probability can always be less than or equal to 1, never greater than 1. Now that element which we are interested in may or may not be in our sample set. So the minimum value could be 0, right? Or few of them. So between 0 and 1 or all of them means 1. And we also consider the complement of an event. That is, that event does not happen. At times that may be of our interest. Events happening and not happening. If we combine the two, then we always get probability of 1. So probability of an event happening and probability of event not happening will always be equal to 1, right? So that is a very important thing which we learn. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand the basic concept. Let's move on and do some experiments with probability. Thank you and all the best.